Well, Cheng was away a little slowly there, and it was Lafina that had the best of it. And down in lane eight, Gabadolina also had a very good start there. Lane three, Deng Yue from China as well, has an early, early challenge to her compatriot, Cheng Jiao. But Cheng Jiao, now that she's settled after a sluggish start, looking very comfortable in the backstroke, settling in for the first length of the 150 metres. So it's China 1-2 at the moment and Lafina in third position, although in lane seven, Miranda Herrera from Mexico is swimming very well and she may have just inched herself up into the bronze medal position for the moment. We'll see how they fare at the turn and who comes off the wall well. But certainly Cheng Jiao looking very comfortable at the early stage of this race. Well, it is uh, China 1-2 currently. As, uh, Cheng touches ahead of Deng at the wall. Disappointing the Trimi of Italy going in lane two, who has a relatively weak backstroke compared to some of the other competitors in this fourth of the world championships. It's only touched for sixth after the opening leg. She was expected to be one of the challenges, while uh, Lafina is just not failing, is just not uh, making up the time that she might have hoped going in lane five. In fact, it's got to make up on Miranda and uh, of Mexico and Svidaska of Ukraine on her outside, which she's trying desperately to do in the breaststrokes. is a very strong breaststroker and is making up some time and in fact is challenging here for the silver medal position overall as Deng starts to fade. But Cheng is only increasing her advantage and should have this race wrapped up before she even touches for the final 50. So Svidaska is challenging for the silver at the moment, as you say. She had a strong breaststroke leg as expected. Cheng easily touching it at the wall first. It'll be China 1-2 again at the third turn, but Svidurska has made her way up. A lot's going to depend here on just how much she can capitalise on that strong performance in the breaststroke. And it looks as though they're neck and neck for the silver at the moment, but Cheng Jiao clearly out in a league of her own, having a beautiful swim with 25 metres left to go. And it looks like Miranda Herrera is having another surge and she's challenging for the silver medal position. So the Mexican down in lane seven, having a beautiful freestyle swim. Cheng Jiao won't be challenged for the gold, but the silver is a very interesting battle indeed. Could we see a, gold, a world record fall here? It's going to be close. She'll fall just outside that, but Cheng Jiao, a commanding swim. The race is on for silver, but Spadovsk has managed to pull it through. And for bronze, there's a touch in it, and the Chinese swimmer Deng Yao will come in for bronze. Well, that was a very strong finish from the silver medalist Spadovska. And that is certainly a very impressive world record in her classification. Olga Svidaska, who took over two seconds off her own world record in the heat, swimming in the SM3 classification. Gabadulina, who touches now, also swimming in the SM3 classification, already a gold medalist for these champs in the 100 freestyle in her classification. But Cheng Zhao, 249.69, outside of her own world record, which she broke by 0.27 seconds in the heat, but doing enough to finish strong, but a world record. This was the most impressive swim. That back in 50 was just solid, unbelievable, in fact, how quickly she picked up speed in the closing 20 of the race, looking to break that world record in her classification. And Deng having to settle for the bronze. Yeah, it was a great final 50, final 25 even. There was not much in it for the bronze medal in the end. Less than half a second. Chain. Deng Yue and Miranda Herrera, who will be disappointed with that because she was swimming so well as the, she went into the turn for the freestyle. I suspect Cheng Zhao, after such a stunning swim this morning, did what she needed to. She knew she was well out in front, and as you can see there, would have been able to sense the lead that she had, but also with it, such a busy schedule at these games, not always out to break a world record twice in a day necessarily well that's it if you've uh, if you've done the hard yards and you're not being challenged just claim the gold medal look breaking a, a world record is something special and every swimmer would want to break a world record but if it's not entirely necessary well 
Do you need to go for it and expend the energy when you still have events in your immediate future? Save a little energy. Cheng Zhao is a champion, however. Ding Wei swam a, uh, a very, very impressive opening 100, but then started to fade, perhaps going out a little too hard. And that's just an indication of her age at just 15. She needed to hang on for the bronze medal. But 22 year old Cheng Zhao of China is the champion. A silver medalist is Olga Svidarska, already a bronze medalist in the 100 free and indeed in the 4x50 mixed relay. So, the third medal of these games, Svidarska of Ukraine, and a world record in her class. Well, she'll be rightly thrilled with that performance. It was a brutal final 25 to really put it in and to snag that world record. It's a pretty good day out when you can nab not only a, a medal, but also a world record. So there you have it, the final standings.